Hello everyone, you are welcome to Best Notes tutorial. Today we will cover some MCQs uh, from literary criticism part and this will be helpful for you for UGC NET, TGT, PGT English, uh, English literature. So first question is for Aristotle and Plato belong to dash phase of criticism. So what are what is the phase? Uh, first Hellenic, Hellenistic or Renaissance or greco or Roman. So as you can see the answer is A Hellenic. Now let's go to the highlighted points. In the 5th, 4th, 5th uh, and 4th centuries, uh, Athens was the center of literacy and critical activity and Plato and Aristotle were the most important critic of that time and this is the earliest or we call it Hellenic or Greek phase of criticism. Now next question for you is who was the first literary critic who said that art is twice removed from uh, reality? Uh, Plato, Aristotle, Longinus or Horace? Answer is A. Plato and uh, Plato called art art is twice removed from uh, reality. This is uh, the quote by Plato. Plato was an Athenian uh, philosopher. We know that uh, he belongs to classical period in ancient Greek. And he was uh, the founder of, not founder, it is founder of uh, the Platonist school of thought and the academy, the first institution of higher learning in the Western world. <clears throat> On translating Homer is written by uh, Matthew Arnold, Walter Pater, T.S. Eliot or William Hazlitt. Your answer is A. Matthew Arnold. Let me tell you, this uh, PDF is from our uh, daily pdf group if you wish to join pdf group you can uh, directly whatsapp me on my number and if you wish to buy our ugc net course pdf course or video course you can join our courses as well let's come to the explanation on translating homer published in january 1861 was a printed version of a series of public lecture given by matthew arnold as professor of poetry at oxford from 3rd November 1860 to 18 November 1860. Who proposed the poet should be banished from the ideal republic? This is important question. Plato, Aristotle, Sir Philip Sidney or Sir Thomas More? So answer is uh, A. Plato. Plato was the Athenian uh, philosopher we know. And uh, Plato is famous for having banished uh, poetry and poets from the ideal city of the republic. Who considered poetry a mother of all lies? Aristotle, Plato, Pope or Stephen Gossin? Who is the answer? What is the answer? So, who is that person who calls poetry a mother of lies? It was uh, Plato and uh, School of Abuse. Who, uh, who wrote the book School of Abuse? If you know the answer, just write down in comment box. Plato was an Athenian philosopher. We know uh, this thing, this uh, already we have seen. And uh, philosopher who called poetry mother of lies is Plato. Who banished poetry from his ideal world. Unka jo ideal world tha, usme unhone uh, poetry ko koi jagay nahi di thi. Aristotle's critical work is entitled. Jo Aristotle ka critical work hai, usse, uska naam kya hai? Uh, Arts Poetica, Poetics, The Art Poetica or Art Poetic? Answer is B, Poetics. So, Poetics is uh, the critical work by Aristotle. And Aristotle Poetics is the uh, earliest surviving work of dramatic theory and first uh, extent philosophical treatise to focus on literary theory. Who is the author of Ars Poetica? Jo Ars Poetica hai, unke uska writer kon hai? So as we know, Ars Poetica is written by uh, Horace. Or maine aap logo ke liye jo char literary uh, literary theories par or criticism par videos banai thi. Usme definitely agar apne ki hongi to ye sare easy aapko lagenge. So Ars Poetica or the Art of Poetry is uh, poem written by Horace in uh, 19 BC. He advises poets on the art of writing poetry of drama. Or if you have seen a detailed video, you can tell me that the art of poetry has many parts in that book. I have told you in the lecture. The poem was written in uh, hexameter words. 
हु इज द ऑथर ऑफ सिंपोसियम सिंपोजियम का जो राइटर है वो कौन है एरिस्टोटल दांते लंजाइनस और प्लेटो सो योर आंसर इज प्लेटो सिंपोसियम एज अ फिलोसोफिकल टेस्ट बाय प्लेटो डेटेड 385 370 BC the symposium is like all of plato's dialogue fiction now here are seven main characters who delivers major speeches here are phaedrus we have an athenian aristocrat pausanias uh, the legal expert and eryximachus a physician aristophanes the eminent uh, comic playwright sometimes some questions are asked from this place and as i told you in previous uh, videos as well like if you are doing uh, 20 mcqs with the help of this pdf you are completing nearly 200 uh, facts so uh, practicing daily such pdf will definitely help in your upcoming exams agason a uh, tragic poet host of banquet and if you have any suggestion to improve this pdf now uh, you can write down in comment box what should we add here on what should uh, what we can remove from this we will definitely consider that socrates the eminent philosopher and plato's teacher and alcibiades a prominent athenian statesman orator and general to whom poetry is the spontaneous overflow of powerful uh, passion or feeling who told this this is a very simple question and the answer is wordsworth who called uh, you know he defines poetry as the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings next is horace was a horace who was a uh, who was horace greek critic roman critic french critic or german critic so your answer is b roman critic uh what is the full name of uh, you know horace so quintus Horacius Flaccus is, uh, you know, in English world we know uh, him as Horace, who was leading Roman lyric poet during the time of Augustus. So here you can see uh, first, second, and third, and fourth from uh, the question. So four facts you can count from here, and even you can uh, you can be asked that. what kind of genre he is uh, he belongs to so this can be the question as well aristotle discusses the theory of tragedy in ars poetica poetic or uh, poetics rhetoric and ars poetica so your answer is poetics now let's come to uh, this point which is important the genre all share the uh, function of mimesis or imitation of life uh, but differ in three ways that aristotle describes <clears throat> difference in music rhyme harmony meter and melody and difference in goodness and character and difference in how the narrative is presented telling a story or acting it out 12 how many principal sources of sublimity are there according to longinus longinus ke according kitne principal sources hai sublimity ke 3 4 5 and 6 so your answer is c so he talks about five sources now let's come to the next question here the content of uh, on the sublime zone ka work hai uh, the sublime decay of uh, rhetoric and misleading translation and lost data limitation of the writing and writing style of rhetoric so the, this is the subject matter the sublime longinus sets uh, five sources of sublimity here first is great thought strong emotion certain figure of thought and uh, speech and noble diction and the last one is dignified word of arrangement at least 10 questions can be framed from uh, this portion what is the meaning of the term homarchia as used by aristotle in his theory of tragedy tragic and of the tragedy working of fate against the hero a weak trait in character of hero a strong quality in the character of hero so your answer is c a weak trait in the character of hero the term homarchia derives from uh, the greek word means to miss the mark or to err it is associated with great tragedy homarchia as it pertains to dramatic literature was used by aristotle in his poetics 
now let's come to the next question who what uh, what is the meaning of sorry it is not who but what is the meaning of uh, the term peripatia as used by aristotle in his theory of tragedy answer is b change in the fortune of hero from good to bad peripatia is a sudden change in a story which results in a negative reversal of circumstances peripatia is also known as turning point the place in which the tragic protagonist to fortune changes from good to bad 15th what is the meaning of the term uh, anagnorisis what is the meaning of anagnorisis as used by aristotle in his theory of tragedy the answer is a, a hero's uh, recognition of his tragic flaw the point in the plot special uh, especially in a tragedy at which the protagonist recognizes his or her or some other character's true identity or discovers the true nature of his or his own situation that is uh, anagnorisis what is denouement so here what is denouement denouement is uh, the ending of a comedy here who was the originator of the theory of imitation in literature the theory of limitation hai uska jo originator hai literature mein wo kaun hai uh, it is c plato later aristotle also used that who uh, made a difference between uh, like both aristotle and plato both uh, did that who made a difference between poetry and poem it was a coleridge and coleridge distinguishes a uh, poem from his uh, biography a literary by saying that poetry is a wider than a poem poetry is an activity of poet's mind but a poem is merely one of the form of expression now let's come to the next question next one is who was the most illustrious pup pupil of plato so this is obvious question and if sometimes we uh, get you know confused so your shortcut is spa always remember spa socrates plato and aristotle so if sometimes you get confused that who is the uh, student of whom uh, just remember the word spa okay so spa and in this sequence you can remember this is uh, good for uh, who are starting Uh, the english literature right now who was the most illustrious uh, disciple of socrates so i have uh, told you like here is pa and you can remember this one so easily you can uh, do the uh, you know such question if some questions are asked so with this we are uh, ending this session if you wish to join any course you can just uh, you know call me or whatsapp me on my number see you in next video till then goodbye take care all the best